Um, and uh, also we are uh, very uh, concerned, and this actually came out of, out of our workers committee, uh, with the community that we live in. And, and we provide at least once a month a community service activity where uh, the workers themselves uh, perform different jobs, either cleanups at the park, cleanups, cleanups at the, uh, in the avenue. Uh, we have done, uh, they, they have done actually, not me, from free jobs or free labor for, for the senior citizens in the area. Uh, and now we're talking to Steve, so I'm sure we're going to be doing something together soon. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, tools and machinery there. Um, so uh, basically, that's, uh, that's the, our work in a uh, snapshot. We're obviously very involved in the uh, immigration reform movement. And now, I'm, I don't know if you have heard, but, uh, heard, but uh, uh, the DREAM Act, which basically is uh, legislation that will provide a, a, a path to legalization to children of immigrants who came here when they were kids. Uh, uh, it's supposed to be talked in the Senate as, as soon as tomorrow. So there's a lot of work uh, around that as well. And, and, and basically provide ourselves as a space for people uh, uh, where uh, they can uh, come together, uh, have access to resources, but also uh, where they can uh, organize themselves and have a voice of many people uh, that because of their stigma of immigration status, uh, they don't. Uh, so that's basically it. Thank you. And I'd like to call upon Maria Morales, who is one of the entrepreneurs who has helped to redevelop Port Richmond Avenue. And um, besides catering our meal today, I hear she's regularly catering meals for Wagner students. And my students ate at her restaurant on Wednesday. My name is Maria Morales, and um, I came to the United States uh, about 15 years ago. Initially, I, w I came with the intention, intention to learn English and be better in the English language, language and go back to my country. I'm sorry for that, because I, it seems like I didn't learn so well. <laughs> and and um, I came because uh, my husband died in an accident uh, that happened suddenly. So after two or three years ago, I didn't know where to go, what to do. So what I thought, I have to get rid of these memories. I need uh, something really new that helped me uh, to heal because it was a, a big loss. And um, I came here not with the intention to, to stay, to remain in the United States. I, I was thinking, I'm just going for two or three years, and I come back to, to Mexico. I'm going to find a better job. I want to be better. So that was my initial intention. But when I came here, I, I really find out, find out that it, this is the country of the opportunities. Um, I started working on an American restaurant, a luncheonette. And I made a lot of friends, American people, who kindly, they opened the, the arms to welcome uh, an immigrant. And they teach me, they, they uh, help me a lot. So little by little, the doors were, were open. And, uh, and I, I were taking those opportunities. I never thought I could open a restaurant to run a business and uh, became a legal resident because it wasn't my intention. I really want to go back to Mexico. But, but little by little, they were helping me. I got a lot of friends that advised me, you can do this, you can do that. Why do why you have to go back to Mexico? I really, I, actually I want to go back because all my family is there. I'm just here with my daughter. I'm single mother and uh, I miss my family a lot. And uh, probably when I get uh, a little financially, uh, uh, established, established, probably I go back because um, I miss them so much. I miss my culture. I miss my my friends. My whole family is there. I'm just here with my daughter. So, but um, really, it's a it's a very nice country. It's a very nice people. I I really have good friends. And um, I never thought that I could be so happy by myself over here. Um, I chose Port Richmond to open my business because I heard 
I was living on the other side of the island, and I heard that Port Richmond was full of, of Mexican population. I, I wasn't coming to this side of the island too often, because I, all, all I did is was work and uh, go to school and work and go to school. So when um, the opportunity to open my business came, I went to Port Richmond. I, I confirmed that it was full of, of Mexican population. So I thought, this is the place where I want to be because I feel very comfortable speaking Spanish all the time, uh, seeing the little children. It's, it's like a, if I was in a, little, in a little Mexico, in a little town in Mexico, because all you see is mostly Mexican people. And um, of course, I have a few a big mistakes when I open my business, because I know that I should make my menu more open to, to other kind of, of, uh, of uh, customers because mass is mostly 95% Mexican food. But well, it's what I, I know what to do, so I didn't want to go too much far to get involved with uh, another, another kind of food. But um, I'm so happy, even though um, a few years ago I have an incident when um, a, a man rammed her, her truck inside of the, the business, three Mexican business he hit. But uh, uh, what I know is that that man is a little mental sick. So, <laughs> so I said, it was, he doesn't know me. I didn't do anything to him, to neither the other owner of the business. But he, he caused some damage on the business. Uh, and I, I forgave him. And uh, another, a lot of incidents been happening. I don't know if you've been involved, but um, it's a, uh, uh, well, I, I'm, I don't know, I, I cannot talk too much because I'm not too, too involved and I have my point of view. I don't know if it's the right one. But um, really, I invite you to know a little more of Port Richmond because uh, it, that's true. It's a, um, like a Mexican place. If you wanna, you wanna learn uh, uh, or you wanna hear Spanish, you, this is the right place to go. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm really, really. I feel so welcome to the United States because really, I, I just thought that I was gonna come here for two, or three years and go back. Now I'm here for 15 years, and um, I don't know when I'm gonna go back. <laughs> okay. Well. Thank you. One final speaker before we open up to the students' questions. I'd like to invite up from the Northfield uh, Economic Development Corporation, Kathleen Bielsa. Hi, I'm actually glad to be part of this panel uh, to discuss Port Richmond. I also grew up in Port Richmond, just like Steve did. And yes, I experienced how um, you know my mother when she wanted to buy the house that you know to raise her family in, she wanted to live in Port Richmond. And I do remember as a young child going into you know going to the avenue and you can buy anything you want. Going to um, you know the stores where you can buy a beautiful dress, a nice pair of shoes, jewelry store, um, jewelry stores, and you know uh, the also the. Woolworths and C.H. Martins, where there were lunch counters, and the whole, you know, seemed like the whole community would go to Port Richmond Avenue, have lunch, and, you know, hang out together. Um, I also, by the time I grew up there in the, um, you know, what, uh, late 60s into the 1970s, it was a very diverse community already. I had um, on my block um, many different nationalities, someone from Spain. Puerto Rico, uh, India, all living on the same block together. So I feel like I was very um, fortunate to grow up in a community where right from the start I was exposed to many different uh, types of background. 